Max, fucking Peg City, 780. Sheldo 306 Saskatoon. Down here in 306, battling, battling Sheldo. I'm battling Maximilian from Edmonton. Drove all the way from fucking Edmonton. I've seen some of his battles. He's a fucking clever dude. He's got, he's got some good schemes and stuff, but honestly, I think his deliveries, his build ups take too long and stuff. So, you know, that's where I feel like I have the advantage. And the only thing I have to really say is. The only chance you really had of winning would probably be if I fucking couldn't find a ride or a fucking car broke down. Good luck, Max. Let's fucking make this a good one. None of those things happened, so you're dead. Body bag. Woo! Right here, you're just asking two minutes. You want to sit down on the deck. Here's the stuff on the left. Here's Max, Pay City, 780. Want to get it in? What's up, guys? Let's go. Let's get it. Woo! Show up 306, two. Come to put on a good show for everyone. Let's do this. Yeah. yeah. Romantic companion, 
I'm a monster and I run straight till I eat like I achieved the medallion. If Snoop is a lion and Charlie got the blood of a tiger, well then fuck it, I'm Max a stallion. Now I don't wish death on nobody in your family, but I'll pester your dog so much she'll find it inside to somehow commit suicide. And I'll be Paul and bring that little fucker back to life just to kill him again, have father and son watch while your bitch slowly dies. And then Carlito Sway will sense a dead dog in the presence said fuck a fork in the night and came barging in the house and did a fucking nose dive. Woo! <laughs> I was call and collect, but fat motherfucker, I had to go through at least three area coaches to call through your chest. I mean, I mean, Charlie Scheme, is it true that his views were hardly seen? Just because, fuck it, I'm gonna bring it back to you. Why do you from Winnipeg live in Edmonton and rap in Saskatoon? <laughs> Obviously, Ground Zero ain't giving him none, so he comes to my league to try and stack his views. Fuck a race, Rodney King, I'm gonna beat his ass black and blue. Cut off his massive boobs, have him hacked it too, just so I can stuff your fat ass in a casket tomb. I mean, Primo, why the fuck is he so fat that he needs a pallet jack to move? I mean, 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 I mean. Why the fuck are you so fat that if you race a turtle on its back on a hundred meter track that the turtle run laps around you? I mean, I mean. I mean, check it, yo. I mean, oh shit. Oh, fuck, hey, yo. I mean, oh shit. Yo, um, yo, after his windows crash, he changed his name to Max after he caught him a virus. And whoever said Max don't get viruses was obviously lying. Because on 118th, he got caught, got infected by his mane, and he wasn't even fondling lions. Oh. I mean, Max, it's in your lottery science that you got any, you don't have any luck when it comes to comboing diets. Because every time there's something new on the menu, man, you gotta just try it. I mean, you're stupid and fat, useless and whack. I mean, every time you and Guillotine rap, it reminds me of that Treehouse show, Ruby and Max. <laughs> I mean, woo! I mean, why the fuck do they got me battling a stunt double of boot on crap? I mean, he's scale tipping, but that's okay, because I'm flail whipping. I'm whale flipping, and he looks like a blue gun smack. <laughs> All right, yeah, come on. Yeah. Okay, y'all want to know what rhymes with shell though? What up? Ashley Larry's elbow. <laughs> y'all want to know what else rhymes with shell though? He is one small shh away from an elbow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You gay ass looking vampire, if you didn't get burned by the sun, it would be a miracle. Plus, if I threw you out in the middle of a blizzard, you would be invisible. The fact that you're even aboriginal inside makes me fucking miserable. Oh. <laughs> but shell though, am I right though? You feel like a Hannibal when you smoke white rhino. Actually scratch that bar about Eldo, bitch you're a pair of white eye contacts away from being straight albino. Oh. Woo! You're the biggest Indian imposter I ever met, you pink fuck. I'll bet, I would have bet that hundred bucks that you probably use flour as makeup. <laughs> Since my first time ever really trying the comedy role, this is practice, I'm not selling out at all. I'd never play a game of ping pong with you because I'd never see the fucking ball. You look like you slept in a bleach factory or been up for a week straight hanging drywall. <laughs> Alright, trade, trade, trade. Alright, fuck that bars, I'm right in your path and I ain't getting stuck. I'll break into your house and pour poison in the bottom of your white morning coffee cup. Pay your girl a little visit, convince her to make my bread in an underground gentleman's club. Take all her money and give her less than half back like a holder at a ticket stuff. Split and that you would lick them up. I don't care how you meant it, that's gay as fuck. <laughs> anyway, I got 10 seconds into your verse and said, God, this is awful. You couldn't make me finish that video if it had 3D visuals of blueberry waffles. Because <laughs> you're gay, then it would just get me mad and you don't want to see me when I'm hungry. I'm gonna freeze four feet, roll Grizzly out of beard for a bit, eat some leftover pie with a mug full of lunch meat. I'm sick of people saying that I don't use. I don't fuck with foods that are salty. And hell yeah, I'm a bad bitch. What do you think I was gonna be surprised? The only reason I'm bad is every time I'm done fucking your mother, she bakes me cakes and chicken pot pies, man. <laughs> Don't have any so 
way inside of you? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you said you're 250 and you cause heavy, heavy damage, right? But that's self contradicting because you take too long in your build up and delivery that you can't even land a strike. I mean, from your physical features, the statue looks like you should be a man of mice. Instead, you look like an overweight beaver, more like a motherfucking man of mice. I mean, <coughs> I mean, yo, I said. A man of mice. I'm coming down with a grand slice. I'm fucking his mom, she's that alien bitch. She looks like damn like slice. I mean, oh fuck. Oh man, fuck it. Now my first order of business is to tell my opponent to shut the fuck up and wipe that stupid fucking look on your face because it's distracted in my back. <laughs> Real, I'm fucking up and coming. There should be no way that I should be doing any promos. Leave it to Dumb and Dumber because when your life is at stake, bro, there is no tomorrow for faggots like Magic and Sheldon. This lame is whack and you can tell by his presence. I'm ashamed he raps, he proclaims himself in his tracks, I take antidepressants. If you stay any longer in this game, your kid's adolescence will be like a really sad song from Evanescence. I'll take three instant pics of your corpse and leave one for the forensics. I'll look the judge dead in the eyes when I receive my sentence. Hop the fences, got squads blocking every entrance. Crowbar, molly cop, chains and wrenches. Chloroform, sawed off and bloody syringes. Put this faggot in the ground like I'm tampering trenches. You'll never get your line straight. You'll always get off by inches. Now your fans are nothing but emo goth kids and fat chicks that listen to Nazareth singing Love Hurts and then cheer up when they see a video of this whack bitch. <laughs> Sheldo, you call yourself a writer? That's like me saying no McDonald's because I'm working on my muscle fiber. <laughs> Hit us up on Facebook, Maximilian, bitch. Ah. What up, Creation Team? Stay flying you know over to this 306 Battlegrounds representative. First round, Sheldo. Second round, Max. Third round, Max. You know he took it out. You know, yeah, set it off for me. Jumping, jumping. Number five. Yo, man, it's Young Red, Brown Can Shine, Sacred Team. Um, Fuck, just got out of a pretty good battle. I mean, Max and Mel really stepped up his game since our last battle. I'm gonna break it down like this. The first round, fuck. I think Sheldon had some pretty good shit, but second and third, Sheldon had mad chokes. So, you know, with that that being said, it's it's a two to one decision for for Max, man, straight up. Hey, what's up, Dominate? I'm Elf, fucking judging everything. Maximilian Sheldo, crazy man, holy shit. Well, you should have seen, you just seen it. 
Maximilian. Damn, that motherfucker came hard, repping fucking good for the 780. Got a 306 on my arm, but you made the 780 look alright, man. Sheldon, you had to come and stop choking, dog. You're my homie, but you gotta stop choking. Maximilian, 3 nothing. Word. Fucking guy. Did you see that? Did you see that? New one, aka Dominate, is the gayest judge ever. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. I, I just judged and watched uh, Maximilian vs. Sheldo. Sheldo came hard that first round, but the second and third went to Maximilian for sure. He was consistent, he hit hard. And, like, Sheldo slipped up too much. Like, if he, if he would have kept that second round going, it would have been like a very close match, but I had got to give Maximilian two rounds to one. <laughs> <laughs> Decoy Sacred Scripts, that was a pretty dope battle. Sheldon's a homie of mine, so uh, he wins. I'm gonna just get right down to it. Maximils, man. Sheldon slipped up two rounds. Maximils came hard every three. Sheldon, I mean Maximils. <laughs>